let us pray. Father Almighty, we thank you and we bless your holy name for what you have done in our life, particularly all your children all over the world. We are thanking you for the salvation of our souls. I will bless you so much that you are keeping us while we are in this world in preparation for taking us to heaven. Daddy, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I pray this moment of sharing your word. Daddy, break the bread of life with us and let this word as I be sent bless every era in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. This uh, moment, we want to share the word of God that is based on the book of Hebrews chapter 10, from verse 35 to 39. Hebrews chapter 10, 35 to 39. A particular message will be brought out from this passage. From verse 35, cast not away therefore your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye may receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. In brief, what we want to share is from this passage we say, Yet a little while, he that shall come will come. Yet a little while, he that shall come will come. That is like uh, giving us an information or giving us a notice. And what is the notice all about? The whole world has one great expectation now, and that expectation is the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. That second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is not going to be an easy thing, because the Lord Jesus Christ have already said this. He said something about that, in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 1 to 31. Matthew, chapter 24, 1 to 31. But if that story could be too long for anybody to read, one can refer to the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 7. He said, when he appeared in the sky, all eyes will see him. And that is talking of the rapture. All eyes will see him. But this message of his coming has been for has been all for thousands of years. And people are now thinking that probably uh, the one that said they will come will not come. But the word of God is saying this morning that yet a little while, he that will come, he that shall come will come. He can't tell lie because his name is the truth. And they come to think of it, when the Lord Almighty said the flood was coming, when God said the flood was coming during the time of Noah, in the book of uh, you know Genesis chapter eight, uh, people at that time they thought that we have never seen this kind of thing before, and it will not happen. Out of what the Lord Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter twenty-four, he revived us back. To the episode of the time of Noah. They were eating, they were drinking, they were doing wedding. Suddenly, the flood came. That is an enough reason for us to believe that if the Lord said, I am coming back again, that Lord Jesus Christ said, I am coming back again, is a message we should take very serious. And it's the greatest expectation of the whole world right now, whether we believe it or not. Therefore, our concern now is that how do we prepare for his coming? How do we prepare for his coming? 
The preparation is in two ways. Number one, for those who have not known him, who have not accepted him as their Lord and Savior, that is where the journey will start. Bible says that, you know, when you are in sin, we have to repent. In Act of Apostles chapter 2, verse 13, Bible says repent of your sin. It says, yes, so that the time of uh, refreshing can come from the presence of the Lord. Right now, there is a message that everybody should hold very tight, and that is the message of repentance from sins. If we don't repent from sins, it's just like those people who didn't believe what Noah was saying that time, and they all perish. So they perish, and we don't remember that. Why the Bible says, He said, no, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, whosoever believes in Him will not perish, they will have eternal life. Message of repentance. Because without repentance, there is no remission of sins. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7 says that. We have the rem remission of our sins through the blood of Jesus after repentance. Therefore, our fathers in the, in the village in those days, they know that when you have a problem, they will ask you to go and carry sacrifice. God has already provided a sacrifice that is going to take care of the problem of the whole world, and that is the blood of Jesus. Whosoever needs to escape this danger of destruction that is coming, need to repent of his sins and accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior so that the blood of Jesus Christ can wash away our sins. Now, for those who have accepted, there is one message. Follow peace with all men and be ye holy. Without which nobody shall see the Lord. The message of holiness is what is needed at this particular time, to live holy. First John chapter 3, verse 3, 4 John chapter 3, verse 3, he says that he that has the hope that the Savior is coming should keep himself pure as he is pure because we are going to be like him when he comes. Therefore, believers, you are encouraged just to endure to the end, live holy, obey the Lord. But while we are waiting, the believers know we have responsibility. And that responsibility is well written Luke chapter 19, verse 13. Luke chapter 19, verse 13. He said, Occupy till I come. Occupy till I come. What do we occupy ourselves with? Preaching the gospel in season and out of season because there are many thousands, millions that are here to. We keep on preaching the gospel. Not only that, we keep on doing good. That is, use whatever we have now to take care of the people that are in, there, that are in need so that in heaven we'll be able to get our reward. So the question now is that we should not lose our confidence that we have in God only because the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is uh, being prolonged. Because he said that the soul that dread back I have no pleasure in him. The just are live by faith. So if a believer continue to live by faith, whatever you are believing God for, he said, you know, he said, after a little bit of patience and you have done the will of God, you will receive the promise. Whatever you are believing God for at this particular time, I want you to know that God will do it for you. But hold forth, hold very fast unto your belief. And I know at the end, yet a little while, he that shall come, we come. Our Lord is coming and very, very soon he will come. When he comes, I pray he will prepare us. In case... You don't even wait in the time of the rapture. Your own Jesus can come today. And I believe when he comes, he will find us ready. And none of us will miss heaven in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Father, we thank you for this word of life. You have asked us to remind the people of the world, and we have done it. We pray that, Lord, you prepare every one of us for our final day. So that at the end, we will make heaven in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.